We alluded to it a moment ago. Perfect tailgate weather out there mm -hmm. right now. Just just under two hours away from game four's first pitch. And our Kevin Berry and Crystal Martinez out with the fans at the K. So after losing more than 100 games last year, Royals fans want this season to keep on going. Right, guys? That is the hope here tonight of 56 wins last season. Really hard to imagine turning that around into any kind of playoff berth, let alone winning the wild card series. Now being down two games to one in the ALDS, but with a fighting chance. But there are other ways to interact with the Royals, too. 60,000 people have taken advantage so far of the Kansas City MLB Urban Youth Academy. It's a baseball and softball program put on by the Kansas City Royals Foundation. Yeah, and Fox Sports' Hannah King joins us live outside that facility right now. Hannah, how excited are they for the team to be in blue October? It is super pumped and the people here are super excited and whether it's with watch parties, tickets or open gyms, nonetheless, it's just an opportunity to share the love for the game of baseball and love for the Royals. There are eight other academies throughout the U.S. MLB put the academies in underserved communities. One of those is here in Kansas City. And we get them in the door through baseball and softball. And then once they're in here, then we can give them the other resources that can help support them and empower them to be the leaders of tomorrow. It's called the Kansas City Urban Youth Academy, and it's a program through the Kansas City Royals Foundation. The ages that come to the academy are 5 to 18, and we hope that they think that this is a great place to have access to, to learn the games of baseball, softball, and to grow to love the Royals and just to get the resources that they need. No cost to anyone utilizing its services, and some come from off the diamond. That's financial readiness, college preparedness, or FAFSA training. And it bleeds Royals Blue. We want to support our boys in blue, and I think this is an opportunity for the kids to take pride in a place and get that experience that they normally wouldn't experience anywhere else. The nonprofit's Fall Bash will be held here on Saturday starting at noon. It's an opportunity for games, bounce houses, food trucks, vaccinations, and so much more. Live in Kansas City, Hannah King, Fox 4, working for you.